opening statement, Bob? Yeah, I mean, it's until we mature, uh, uh, you know, as a team and accept the challenges that are in front of us, you know, we're going to, we put ourselves in these situations. Like, we, we were playing pretty well. Second period, we were had it going. But I, everyone in the building knew it except for our guys on our bench. Because if they're not scoring, they get frustrated. And until they mature, that how hard it is at this level. And, and you know, they, they want it to be easier, and it's not. But yet we, you know, they had eight shots on goal. Uh, and we were climbing to 25, and like we were fine. We tie it up. But two of the goals were, out of the, you know, bad back checking out of the offensive zone, and when you're in tight games, you, you know. So three of our four losses, they're related. The related losses, and we need we need to have a hockey team that matures. Was the message after two periods pretty positive? You had gotten a power play goal, and, and it really yeah. dominated the game at that. Yeah, but we were trying to convince. They didn't know they were playing well. We were trying to convince them you're playing well. Um, then we make a mistake, and then Notre Dame locked it down. Yeah. That that pretty typical of what you expect from Notre Dame when they get a lead. I expect that on every team you ever play in the history of hockey. <laughs> when they get a lead in the third period, they're going to lock it down. Yeah. If you've watched hockey, that's what they do. Mikey Kester took a couple of hits there in the second. Saw him grimacing on the bench. How's he doing? Uh, he he got banged up, and you know he's kind of playing a little banged up and. But he gutted it out and got through. We'll get more of a report after. When you talk about like the mistakes, the back checking, was it more of just guys being frustrated that they're not getting chances or scoring on them? That kind of leads to mistakes like that. I I wish I was educated to be in the brain of a young person to really understand why we because why you can do something Monday through Thursday so well when we put them in situations. And then in a hockey game, you go off script. Like some elementary stuff. And we've got, we went off script. I, I wish I could answer. But we, it'll, it'll be fixed. It'll, we'll work on it and we'll continue to, to, to move forward with it. You didn't score on the power play early. You got one at the end of the second. How do you feel the power play came I thought it was power play was excellent tonight because we got chances. We piped twice. Had chances, you know, got a goal, but we had we were getting chances even before the goal. Um, so, and, and our power play had a good look all week long, so it was good. Hugo, we saw some of the stuff that he does down deep for a guy who's dealt with a lot of stuff recently. It looked like he didn't lose anything coming back into the lineup. Did nope. He, he, your we, thoughts on him? We, he was he was solid, really solid um, for us. I mean, a lot of our guys were, we were good tonight in such chunks of the game, but you can't make mistakes like we make, you know, on the, you can't make them ever. And when, it, you know, I've seen the movie before. Is there a specific line or player that you look to when the team's getting a bunch of shots and can't find the back of the net to kind of break that? Well, I mean, I no, because every, every, like I'll even go back a week ago, everyone was contributing in our play last week. I mean, it was Jimmy Clark's line and one power play goal by, you know, we everyone's contributing and that's our team. We're, um, you know, and we have so many guys that can contribute. We were getting chances. Notre Dame's a very, very good defensive team. And it was going to be a, you know, how many times have we played them since I've been here and how many of the games are one goal? <laughs> All of them. And it comes down, you can't make mistakes, and we made them. And they were elementary mistakes that I sure wish they wouldn't have happened, but they did, and we got to, we have to grow from it. But all related to three of our four losses, there's a, there's a relation in there. Our team's got to mature. All right. Thanks, Bob. Thanks, Coach. Questions for Bryce? Bryce, was that almost a strange game in that you're, you know, your coach said he liked a lot of what you did and thought your team played really well, and then it just ends up you know, on the wrong side of it? Yeah, I did think we played pretty well for most of it. It's just, um, you know, kind of our back pressure and our back checking and getting blo shots blocked was, um, you know, kind of the thing that haunted us today. Coach said that uh, 
he kind of needed to convince the team after the second period that you guys were playing well. What was the message in the locker room after the second? Yeah, I mean, it's just kind of a stick with it thing. I mean, um, you know, guys are getting frustrated when we didn't need to be. It's, um, you know, it's just sometimes when guys don't see the puck go in the net, they think they're doing something wrong, but, um, you know, that's not the case most of the time. And so uh, it was just kind of keeping guys focused on, on what our real goal is in winning. What do you think you contribute as a leader kind of in that conversation? I think I'm, I'm a pretty calm guy, so it's, um, you know, I'm a guy that, um, you know, if someone turns a puck over to or turns a puck over, they're not afraid to come talk to me. And, um, you know, I, I know that stuff happens on the ice. And so, um, you know, I'm not going to hold any grudges with anybody. And um, I'm kind of a calming presence for some of the guys the, that, um, you know, there's no fear in talking with me and communicating with me. And, um, you know, if they have any problems, they'll come talk to me. With all the talk about trying to get the power play going, you know, you have the five on three early and, and gets really good looks, but don't get a goal. And then how how good and how important was it to see Jimmy get that one? Yeah, I mean, it's, um, you know, it wasn't really good for our power play. It was good for him. I mean, kind of, um, you know, he's, he's been kind of slow scoring. When, I mean, you talk about him being slow scoring, he's already had eight goals. So, I mean, it's, <laughs> um, you know, it's always good to get him going again. And, um, you know, seeing him on the goal column is, is only a good thing for our team. You've seen a lot of what Hughley can do down low with keep away game that he plays you know what he's gone through the last couple of weeks just was that the old Hugh back there yeah I mean it's I mean that guy could be away for three weeks or three months and he's going to come back and you can't get the puck from him so um yeah no it's always good to have him back in the lineup and uh, we definitely miss him what's just what's the message tomorrow I mean how do you how do you bounce back I uh, just got to play the game the right way I mean um, I don't think we really have to change much just kind of get back on above pucks and um, you know, almost play their game. We got to kind of wait for them to make mistakes, and I think that'll be the key. Thanks, Chris. Thank you. Oh, Red, just what's the message after a game like this? It seemed like you guys kind of had control and then <coughs> a little bit. Just what's the message like? Yeah, the main message in my head is just to keep going. Uh, I think there's a lot of talent in this group, and we know we have it. So ultimately, just keep going. Coach said that he kind of after the second period needed to remind you, the team, that you were playing well. What was the message in the locker room after the second? Um, yeah, same thing, the principles we've been taught all week, the whole season, always driving hard to the net, back checking hard. Uh, those are a few principles, but also the people in front of the net. So those are probably the main things that coach is harping on. Just your goal as a line, it just seemed like it came right off the rush. What did, what did you see there? Yeah, definitely some luck there, but I was going to the net, uh, thanks to Bob on that one, and luckily Bryce had a nice shot on the pad and just somehow got right to my stick. And then just the power play, there was talk that you know wants to be better. You guys get a power play goal after a ton of chances. How good does that feel? Yeah, definitely. I mean, well, there's a lot of way to go for the power play, but it was good to get that goal for sure. What's the message going into tomorrow to bounce back from tonight? Um, we're definitely going to just keep going, but I think the message is just to reflect tonight and we know we have it in this group, so we're going to come out tomorrow a lot stronger and just a lot more focused. I'm sure we're more motivated from Bob after the game, that little speech, but yeah, I hope, I hope you guys can see a better effort tomorrow night. Was he, uh, was he fiery in the locker room after the game or what, what was his demeanor? Um, I think there, there is a little bit of that there, but he does control it and he talks respectfully and and you know he's a good coach, so he talks to us the right way. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks Rex.